In this problem, we have a hard drive platter that's spinning at a constant rate. And we want to find the velocity and acceleration of the platter at the point where it's traveling under the read-write head, here at point P. We're given the position of the head with respect to the platter axis at O. We can start by finding omega. So we're told this is spinning at 3600 rotations per minute and we need to convert that into radians per second. So one minute is 60 seconds, and two pi radians is one rotation. So we have omega is equal to 376.8 radians per second, and the vector omega, because we're told it's traveling counterclockwise, is going to be 376.8 rads per second in the positive k-hat direction. We also need the vector here, rp with respect to o, describing the position of the read-write head. So we can see rp with respect to o is going to be equal to 1.5 centimeters, 0 0.015 meters, times cos 45 in the i-hat direction, minus sine 45 in the j-hat direction. And again, that's meters. So we have everything to find our velocity of p. Remember, this is the velocity of the point on the platter that's spinning, that's immediately under the read-write head. So we can say that is omega cross r p with respect to o. So that's going to be 376.8 rads per second in the k-hat crossed by 0 0.015 cos 45 in the i-hat minus 0 0.015 sine 45 in the j-hat meters. If we do that out, we find the velocity of p is 4.0 i-hat plus 4.0 j-hat meters per second. So our velocity of p is going to be in this direction. Next, we'll find the acceleration of P. So acceleration has two terms in fixed axis rotation. We have alpha cross R P with respect to O minus the scalar omega squared times R P with respect to O. Since omega is constant, which we're told in the problem, then alpha equals zero. So we can cross that out, and that first term won't be involved in our, in our uh, determination of acceleration. So we have minus 376.8 all squared times 0 0.015 times cos 45 in the i hat minus sine 45 in the j hat. If we do that calculation out, we find that the acceleration of P equals minus 1506 in the I hat plus 1506 in the J hat meters per second squared. And if we draw that out, our acceleration of P is going to be in this direction. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.